Michael. Way out in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing there? Biointensive mixing permaculture with biointensive uh, cultivation techniques. Excellent. So, yeah. so, so, what do we have over here on the table? This is uh, some really nice carbon <laughs> or cedar. So, uh, we're going to be putting. It smells so good. Um, basically. Biointensive beds involve digging little trenches that are about two feet deep and displacing them continuously down the entire row. And then uh, permaculturalists have found that they actually can build these swells, uh, like really large beds, using logs as kind of like the base. Um, that way you have like a whole bunch of you know good stuff fixed in. This, this all this carbon is then perfect food for the plant. And uh, can you show us how deep that trench is? Um, well, we just covered up one of them, so it's going to, this is going to go deeper, so we just dug this guy. This is all displaced displaced soil from this first foot, foot uh, wide, four foot, four foot long, and then a, a foot deep um, trench, and now we're starting another trench. The idea is that, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot, at this point you have to displace the soil. Um, you have to kind of break it up. Every time you dig, you have to do this process. So you don't want to mess with your back. But this is like a no till, uh, a no tiller, no no mech no machine based uh, tilling uh, process. And, uh, and that's a hoe. Uh, no, this is a, a pitchfork. I can't remember pitchfork. which kind. What's the the name of this pitchfork? It's a spe this is a specific type right. of pitchfork. Uh, it's not necessarily, yeah, this is actually used for dirt, the other kind is used more for hay. Uh, man, they're great. So we're going to dig, just get this all ready for, uh, for the shovel. It's, uh, it's nice and loose, you can see I've already added like another inch to the soil volume, adding all that air, which really boosts the, this makes it a lot easier, all kinds of great organisms to grow. So we need another bucket? Um, well this, this next part, actually, we're going to displace this. Where is the bucket we were just using? He brought it over there. So, oh wait, <laughs> it's gonna I fall over. We need to add, we need to add actually another layer of this yeah. stuff on. So this is gonna be really, really, really raised beds. It's gonna be enormous beds. Um, well, all the better that we displaced, and actually we could we could be using a lot of the soil in here as potting soil. Yeah, we probably could use a little extra. And then I, uh, oh, this you know, is great. it's been pretty this is, like, busy. Perfect. Like I write, I write Material. about everything. Gravel mines, uh, developments coming in, and of course this coming in to try and, you know. It's only on that side, not the left side. Yeah. 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 That's good. And, uh, That's good. So, and then I write yeah, yeah. Thanks. So. But it's felt like this winter was more or less consistent. You know? okay. It's not bad. Yeah, step step it in maybe. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna add some structure. So what does that do? Tell tell you you have, you put that up as you go that high? That's very interesting. So what function does that serve with all this of the? Is, this adds structure and then a, it's a nice little carbon sink of for the plants to suck up. From what I understand, Jose was saying. They also hold moisture and it also. Um, Allows like I don't know, it's a strong place for roots to go. And this is really good for plants. So how long does it take for the uh, whole wood pieces to Years. biodegrade? Years. 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 So how soon can the plants benefit from those pieces of wood? Yeah, they add to the biodegrading, I think, uh -huh. themselves. So. Uh, and what about adding compost? Is that a good yes, idea? Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got. We do have plenty of compost. In the, in the compost, it's like layers that you want to build. 
Okay. Yeah, you can actually do uh, quartz. Quartz is another good one. Uh -huh. For some reason, that really helps. Well, di different bed, different be beds, and different plants are going to want different, uh, different ratios. Yeah. yeah. Nitrogen mostly. Do you guys have a good compost heap that you can put the stuff on? Well, it's only a year old now. Well, you're welcome to come and get my some of my compost. I have a lot of really good compost. Awesome. Thank from you. From like 20 years worth. Wow. We were going to put it into kind. our cesspool. Can I put a, just a symbolic gesture, put some of this on oh, here? Yeah, on the far one, on the far one. Over here, historic. Tony, right over here. Nice. Yay. Wow, wow. Okay, give cool. some applause, please. Okay, <laughs> wow. Hey, now There's she's more self-confident. Do another one. Right on. Okay, Tonya your contributing turn. on the... Yeah. Passing the shovel. Passing the shovel. <laughs> so you see how this is like a... It's kind of... Getting back on... It's kind of a little redundant right now because I'm just... Some of it's going to fall down back on in. back in, yeah. Well, that's okay, but it's the whole point is... Well, and yeah, at that point you can have a bucket once it starts falling back in on yourself. Yeah, we're it's a lot easier in an open space because you can just place it all into right. movable things like uh, wheelbarrows, which there's not much room here anymore. Um, but that two feet deep, and then what you saw me do before, we're going to displace this one now in there. And we're going to have enormous beds. These are going to be like probably a good eight inches taller than normal, which will make them a lot to easier to hard. cultivate. Like, yeah, you won't have to bend down the whole ratio with this. Is, the point is this is four feet so that your hands can go into the center right. without bending. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, <laughs> it's actually really good for your body. Look at him. He yeah. just dug he's his own hole. Look. Chucky's <laughs> <Nice. laughs> saying he's an animal spirit. He's saying it's a good thing to dig, guys. Good idea yeah, to dig, no right? Digging is good. I think we are digging. <laughs>